Hello and welcome. The beauty of motorhoming is that you find some hidden gems like Merida, but you can also change the journey, and that's what we did this time. Just leaving Merida. Merida? We were going to go to Seville, but there's the road before. In the distance. Um, but as you can see, it's starting to rain and we don't fancy a city in the rain. So we're going to cut across just past Sarka. Sarka? Sarka and then over, over to Berlanga. Towards Cordova. And then we'll see how we feel whether we carry on because it's Sunday and it would be quiet on the road or we stay there. That was a really nice place, Merida. Yeah, it's great, and and the air bus station is pretty good as well. Um, okay, it was it was quiet. It was a Saturday and a Sunday, but there was hardly any traffic noise. Was there? No. Nope. Sheltered by a big um, building behind you. It's clean, tidy. Everything works. We did have a, a problem getting out because it wouldn't recognise our ticket, but the guy sorted it out for us anyway. Um, but yeah. And I don't know if it's the law. The laws changed in Spain as regards noisy mopeds. Something's altered because we've noticed this year. We've been away for a year. We've come back, and there's virtually no noisy mopeds. Sounds good. Yes, brilliant. Capra is a small and spoilt um, town nestled in the northeastern foothills of the beautiful park Natural de las Sierras Subeticas. The main economy of Cabra is grapes and wine and olives and olive oil. And tourism isn't so high up the agenda, so it's lovely and unspoilt. So this is Cabra, which we didn't do last time we were here, because it was way too hot. Oh, a lovely church. Anyway, we're going to go and explore the old turn, turn town, and I've only got my iPhone, which is typical. And from the church on one side, if you just go across, there's some sort of castle. As you can see, Cabra was very quiet when we visited. Um, there were shops and bars open in the main town area, uh, but the rest of it was very quiet. Oh, that's Cabra, not the best sight. So we are leaving Cabra this morning in the glorious sunshine. We went into the town yesterday, have a good look round, because we saw some pesky caterpillars up on the walk 
just... Mm, where am I there? You can see the fence up in front of you. Up there. Yeah. Um, which we thought might be the processionary ones, but when we got back we decided they weren't and lots of people were walking their dogs here. So we're setting off to go to Antiquera. And have a look round there. Yep, just got to navigate our way out of here around this little one-way system. So it's a free air with services. Second time we've stopped. A nice quiet night. Yeah. Recommend. Can't get wrong with cheap and cheerful in a lovely location and properly done. All the facilities you need. Okay, let's go rolling. So here we are at Antiquera. Um, parking at the top so you get the views. There she is, all parked up. Unfortunately, it's cloudy and rainy today, but we're going to head into town to see what there is to see. Um, hopefully, the sun will pop out. And that there is Antiquera's Alcaz, Alcabaz. Muslim fort. Off we go. Let's see what it has to offer. Big door, little door. Big priest, little priest. This is true. Big door. Little door. And onwards. That's all we know about that church. It's a big door, little door church. That's a very impressive church. Antiquera boasts over 30 churches in its city. This is the church of San Sebastian and on the top of the tower has a very distinctive splendid weathercock. Cool, huh? Fabulous. And here we have the painter Jose showing his art to the poet Jose. Mmm, indeed. impressive buildings you walk down the streets, don't they? Yeah, you know, we, we, where we went wrong is we haven't had enough time to find sound clinic to jump and find out a bit more about the history of the place and the site before we actually arrived here. In at the deep end. No dogs. No Come surprise. Little find, little square. Church built into the buildings, or the buildings built into the church. Let's follow Dave. One of little surprises, Antiquera. So 
here we have Antiquera, which Dave first thought was a little village. But clearly a bit bigger. Lovely buildings here. A bit noisy in town. Ah, good little stop really. Over there, you can see the Muslim fortification, the big walls. Al Kazaba and Antiquary. Right on top of the hill. It's a pretty impressive building, I have to say. Not sure about anything else, so I'll have to Google it later. The Alcazabar was built over Roman ruins back in the 14th century to counter the advance from Christians. And this imposing building looms over the city of Antiquera. So this bit here is the thermal spa, so there's still some mosaics down there. So this was us parked up in Antiquera on their parking, free parking, overnight, top of the town. It's very steep to go down and up into the town city, well worth it. Nice views, shame about the weather. Anyway, we're off now, off to the sun hopefully. Join us next week where we get to the coast and the dog sees some rather strange animals walking along the beach. And if you hit that subscribe button, that means you won't miss a thing.